you try this CRM for the first time, you have to connect to Microsoft CRM so you can set up and configure your own environment in ID CRM. It will be quite easy to do so. First of all, you put your credential and decide which server and what kind of connection you use. And you click on continue. ID CRM will connect to the server and display your available organization. I have three organizations available. I select the one I want to use. Then, ID CRM will do two things. First of all, it will check if there is an available ID CRM profile on the server related to my user, so I don't have to decide anything on the setup. It will be applied automatically. If there is no available profile for my user, it will display um, uh, an area where I can specify which filter I want to apply for the synchronization. So I click on this button and there I can decide what I want to have on my ID CRM. In standard, this is what I have. So global activities, account, contact, announcement. On the sales side, opportunities, quote, order, invoice, product, competitors, lease. On the service side, case and contract. So what can I do? First of all, I can rename the group of entities. So I will edit the group name from global to workplace, for instance. Health, I can decide to remove an entity that I don't want to use. Here, I don't want to use announcement. So I click on this button and I remove it easily. I can also decide to add an available entity from Microsoft CRM. Let's say, so here are all the available entities that I can use. And let's say that I want to use a campaign entity because I want to monitor marketing campaign. So I select the campaign and that's all. All right. And I can also add a bookmark like an access to your company portal. So here I put our web website address done. And, and then I can also rename it. I can also move it if I decide to put the portal here. When it's done, you click on done, done, and there you have the new, uh, the new environment that will be set up in ID CRM. Then you can decide, after deciding the entities you want to add, you can also decide which subset of data you want to have for every entity. Let's go to the account area. For instance, I have multiple possibilities. First, I have available filters that are quite simple. I want the account owned by me, created by me, modified by me, or in my business unit, or all the one I have access to, I can say, okay, all to yes. I can even filter by date. Or I can decide that I want to use a specific view from Microsoft CRM. This is a system, and this is available uh, entities that I've created myself on Microsoft CRM. Let's say I want to have just the active accounts. Then I say to done. And I can do that on every entity available. The last thing I can, the last thing I can do, I can specify that, for instance, invoice, I don't want to retrieve this entity for the moment. Done. Okay. When you've set up your filters, you just click on done, and then you can launch the sync by clicking on continue. Then ID CRM will take around 15 to 20 minutes to recreate your own environment on your iPad. And at the end of synchronization, you can work.